risk ratio which is an effect size estimate uh, can be used when the outcome is binary binary outcome is a variable that have two levels in it so it is binomial or dichotomous the level can be either yes or no agree disagree life or dead the risk ratio can be used to estimate the effect size or the overall effect size in meta-analysis meta-analysis is a statistical method that combines data from several independent studies that addresses the same uh, research or scientific question the objective of the meta-analysis is to produce uh, overall pooled estimate effect size such as risk ratio uh, for those separate independent uh, research studies and performing heterogeneity test and uh, forest plot is produced post meta-analysis method a forest plot is basically a graph that summarizes the output of the meta-analysis it consists of three sections the descriptive statistics which shows the uh, if, uh, estimate of the effect size, the risk ratio for each individual study, the 95% confidence interval, the p-value and the weighted percentage, and uh, second part which is a diagrammatic representation of the descriptive statistics, and the third part which is the overall uh, uh, estimate of the uh, effect size which is the risk ratio and the heterogeneity test if you liked the video and found it useful do subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell to receive the updates and the new releases uh, on statistical method for several uh, softwares statistical softwares such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, uh, the GPower, GMP and Revman and click on the like uh, icon and share the video with others to benefit and to uh, support us to continue developing uh, the channel and introducing and producing and publishing new videos and how to perform several different uh, statistical uh, method in any of these uh, statistical packages or softwares so what is risk risk is the probability of an event occurring so it is the proportion of individuals with a certain characteristic within a group so risk can be basically represented in this equation number of cases divided by the population at risk so what is a risk ratio? Risk ratio is also known as relative risk. It is the ratio of the probability of an event occurring in a treatment or intervention or exposure group compared to the probability of an event occurring in the control or an exposed or reference group. It is calculated as the risk of an outcome occurring in exposed group compared to the risk of outcome in unexposed group. So it does measure the association between exposure and outcome and the risk uh, ratio can be interpreted as the risk of an outcome associated with the exposure compared to the risk of the outcome in the unexposed group so the risk ratio is the ratio of the risk in exposed group to the risk in the unexposed group it is a relative difference between two proportion and it is simplified in this formula risk ratio is equal to risk in the intervention 
divided by the risk in control. So here I had inserted uh, data uh, for uh, a study that had looked at and investigated the effect of uh, a new treatment on a condition. Here we have two groups, treated groups and control group. And the event occurring in the treated group is recorded as a success and the event not happening is recorded as failed and the total number of participants in the treated group is given here for the control also the uh, number of uh, cases or participant who had the event or who had succeeded in recovering from the condition is recorded here with those who did not recover or the event is not occurring is also recorded here and the total number of participants for the control is recorded. So here we have a binary outcome uh, in which there are two levels in it, either event occurring or not occurring. To calculate the risk ratio, the risk ratio is equal to the risk of the exposed to the risk of unexposed risk of treated to the risk of controlled uh, so the event in the treated is 45 which is the number of cases divided by the total number of population at risk which is 60 for the treated and for the control the number of cases is 10 divided by the population size at risk which is 65 and once we divide this all together it shows a ratio of 4.8 so there is a risk ratio of 4.8 this is the way to calculate the risk ratio for a binary outcome risk ratio can be greater than one which indicates an increased risk as it is an association and a risk ratio less than one indicates decreased risk and a risk ratio of one indicates no difference in the risk between groups the risk ratio is commonly used in cohort study and is suitable when the outcome is more common here i had inserted uh, data for 12 studies that investigating the efficacy of a drug on treating certain condition and the following uh, scores were uh, con uh, included uh, each study had uh, segregated the participant into intervention or treated group and a control and the number of events occurring in the intervention is counted and the number of no event is counted and the total number of uh, participant is also calculated for the intervention and for the control also the number of events or number of cases at risk is counted uh, uh, total number in the control to perform meta-analysis based on estimate effect size which is a risk ratio the risk ratio can be calculated and estimated as an effect size uh, for the intervention uh, compared to the control and once a meta-analysis is performed a uh, following forest plot uh, is generated from the previous meta-analysis of the data and as shown here the forest plot has three part the descriptive part the diagrammatic part and the overall uh, effect uh, uh, size estimate with the heterogeneity test in the first part the 12 study is listed here with the uh, risk ratio calculated for each study with 95 percent confidence interval p-value for the risk ratio weight percentage which reflects the uh, influence of the sample size on the uh, meta-analysis the second section is diagrammatic representation of the descriptive statistics with a square symbol here represent the risk ratio for each study there is variation in the size and this is due to the weight percentage which reflects 
sample size as larger sample size will have larger square the horizontal line is the 95 percent confidence interval and the diamond shape here is the overall pooled calculated risk ratio with the 95 percent confidence interval represented by the horizontal line the vertical red dashed line represent the calculated pooled risk ratio which is 1.58 the third section here is the overall calculated uh, risk ratio with a p-value and a 95% confidence interval and a heterogeneity test to determine and assess the level of heterogeneity between the results from those separate 12 studies with an I-squared value of 9%, which is a very low, and a p-value greater than 0.05. So there is low level of heterogeneity between the data extracted from these 12 studies. So what is the difference between odds ratio and risk ratio? As I have described previously, the odds ratio is the ratio of the odds of an event occurring in the treatment group to the odds of the an event uh, occurring in the control group the odds ratio is the ratio of two odds the relative risk or uh, risk ratio is the ratio of the probability of an event occurring in the treatment group uh, to the probability of an event occurring in the control group so it is the relative risk um, uh, is the ratio of two probabilities if you have a data and you want to perform data analysis and you are looking uh, for one-to-one -one private tutor uh, tutoring sessions or a training course uh, on how to analyze the data using any of these packages SPSS, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism or any of the others then do contact me